when I conceived of this years ago, it was simple. I knew there were just kind of like these walls or these lines. And if you step over the line, you've put yourself in thought prison. You've taken away your options. You can only react out of those physiological things. So that's what the book is now called Escaping the Prisons of Your Thought, The Cost of the Four Toxic Thought Traps. Now they spell C-O-S-T. Don't expect you to learn sign language here. I just do that. Um, so C was the comparisons and, and um, competition. O was others' business. S was shame or blame. And T was time. Escape the prison of your thought. The cost of believing the one thought behind all emotional pain and its four toxic traps. And um, the one thought, this should be different than it is, explains a little more about it. Anyway, so that was the one thought is in gold. And the, the four parts that, that you're learning here is the comparison competition. And it's all written up for you down below. And that equals can't. They can't do it. Um, others are God's business where you become the fixer. You abandon yourself. Um, shame and blame is judgment of self or your own actions, judgment of others in life and their actions, um, life, others or life. Yeah. And that creates regret and resentment, um, time concepts. And that's where I gave you those past equals powerlessness, future equals fear now equals no. And then at the end, this is your homework is to, to go through this, the cost of believing your thoughts. You can do this over and over again, or you can just list a thought here right across from it or a triggering situation. You can say yesterday at the grocery store. And then what was I believing? You know, stop, look at that. What's my thought or belief? Yes, you may have a whole slew of them. And that's where you'll learn the judge your neighbor worksheet Friday. But if you just put down one thought or belief you had that's that feels stressful or upsetting about that situation, then you ask yourself, wow, well, we know that you, you can find how it is the one thought. It is something about um, here's what it is. I don't like it and I need it to be different than it is. But can you sort of boil it down? Is it a comparison competition or, or a condition, a standard, a mind-made standard of what others have, get, look like, perception of scarcity, lack, insufficiency, others' business, what others say, think, do determines one's safety or worth. So you may sacrifice yourself in order to fix things for them and for yourself. You try to fix yourself by fixing things for them. Shame and blame, what others or self did that was, quote, bad victim of inner critic, others' choices. So, so you would see there's more than one. Like Diane said, she was in others' God's business, but we also found that she had a judgment on them reaching out when they only want something. So you might say, okay, do a checkbox there, a checkbox there. I'm in others' business and I'm doing S for shame or blame. And then time is consequences when believing time conditions. So with the future is fear, which is shows up as worry or anxiety. With the past is powerlessness, which shows up as regret or resentment. And with now is no, which shows up as anger or resistance. So as you're doing this, you can make some notes down here about what you notice. And if you find a thought that doesn't seem to fit, note it down below, post a question in our Happiness Hacks Facebook group or email it. You won't be working right in this book. Um, this, P this flip book that you're getting is not a fillable PDF like some of the PDFs the other things we've sent out to you, but you do have this exact same chart is in your dashboard um, for today. So you'll be able to pull up either your workbook or these worksheet pages. And so the questions again, what thought traps apply and how, and then, you know, really observe, okay, what is my reaction to that thought? What is the cost to myself? What is the cost to others?